Hi everyone, this is Cassie and why am I recording in a forest right now? You may be wondering. So let's begin with saying that I found a job as a deckhand. Finally! <laughs> but however, it's only for three days, uh, which is actually very nice. Yeah, I have to tell you about the ship. The ship I'm working on is the sailing yacht Ellen, Segelfartyget Ellen which is a 125 year old uh, ship that has been used as a cargo ship originally it came from denmark it was built there uh, it had no engine in the beginning and uh, now it has an engine the captain told us a bit about the ship's history and it's uh, really cool yeah, it used to be a cargo ship uh, in sweden it shipped like potatoes and rocks and uh, yeah potatoes and rocks mostly but these days Ellen is a ship for school classes and uh, summer camp kids. And right now we have a school class on board, which is very interesting. I don't do well with kids, to be honest. But these kids are really friendly and they're behaving. And uh, if I tell them something, they listen actually, which is very nice. Uh, so yeah, I have been scrubbing deck. I have been raising the sails, I have been taking down the sails, I have been handling ropes, I've been tying my knots, I have been doing, I have been steering the ship, uh, doing the navigation, where are we right now, which way should we steer, which course are we heading, uh, <laughs> wow it has been uh, really fun and uh, First night I slept so well. I was exhausted from the first day. This is the second day when I'm recording this. We are on an island for the night. Tomorrow we are going home. We're gonna be do doing some sailing then we will be back in the Stockholm harbor before 5 in the afternoon. Then we're going home and I'm gonna see if I can catch a ride along with the kids because they're going the same direction as I am. They're going in a big bus, so <laughs> so yeah, I really hope so. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, this is uh, really fun. And also working on a boat for the first time, I feel like uh, I really I actually told the other deckhands there. They have more experience than me, of course. I am the lowest position there is. And I told them, I don't want to be in the way when you're working. And they said, well, you kind of have to be in the way in order to learn and I said that is so true <laughs> so they have been trusting me more and more to give me stuff to do around the boat <laughs> mosquitoes are hopeless <laughs> okay I have to get going <laughs> but yeah this is uh, just a little update I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next uh, probably just get home and edit videos again and then we'll see what I will be doing <laughs> But it feels so great to finally get some experience around the boats. So obviously I couldn't do much filming on the ship since I was there to work and learn. I can't wait to shower when we go. And the kids were in general forbidden to use their phones during the trip. So uh, both me and the rest of the crew stayed away from our phones as well. However, I did some filming with my GoPros when we were running by the engine, and I wasn't needed for setting sails. A lot was new for me with this new experience. The ship itself was new for me, of course, but sailing, that was a thing I had never done before in my life. Ellen is a 22 meter long schooner with multiple sails. Originally, when she was a cargo ship, the smallest crew on board was only three people with no engine. We, however, were a crew of six and the whole school class and their two teachers. All the kids got to help with the tasks on board and I did my best to follow all the instructions. I felt like a school kid myself sometimes. <laughs> it was also a really powerful feeling when the ship was powered by the sails only. All the kids slept below deck in the old cargo space. 
I don't remember how many beds there were, but quite a lot. There was also a small galley on the ship. The kids were making all the food, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and also fika in between the meals. I never had to go hungry on Ellen. The crew had their own little space to sleep in, in the captain's cabin. There were room for five people, and that was truly the maximum amount. That's where I was sleeping, hi. <laughs> it was so tiny. But I slept surprisingly good. I brought my own bed sheets and pillow and uh, th yeah, that was probably why. <laughs> I wanted to show you the engine room, but I couldn't find the light switch. But if I remember correctly, the ship was running on two truck engines. It was really cool to see. It was quite intense to be so many people on such a crowded space. So when we went on land during the evenings, most people rushed off the boat to stretch their legs, including me. I really enjoyed taking my little walks in the forests on the islands we visited. Ellen is run on non-profit by volunteers and enthusiasts. All the income goes to maintaining Ellen and all the costs around the ship. Her main purpose is to teach life at sea, show nature from a new angle, and companionship with the others on board. I couldn't find much info about Ellen in English, but I think pretty much anyone can join her on a sailing trip during the summer months in the beautiful Stockholm archipelago. If you get the chance to sail with a vessel like this, just do it. I will bring this experience with me for a long time. Thank you for letting me join on this adventure of a lifetime, Ellen, and thank you for watching this video. I was scattered first cause when he spoke it wasn't very soft. He told me about the lifelong love of his side. Had a t-shirt on that said we're all gonna die. Perfect smile on his way to Paris now.